Hi mom and five friends on Facebook. I just decided to paint a Mona Lisa on the budget. The reason why I decided to paint an old master is because I never studied painting and just wanted to show people that it can be done and everybody can do it. And that's why I decided to paint it on the budget. I will use no oil painting. I will use only the cheapest acrylics, the cheapest brushes and to be even harder I will also not use any pigments because the main problem I had when I started was that when you go to shop you don't find ultramarine blue, you don't find the fancy oil paints, you don't find old medium. That's why I will use none of that. I will show you that I can paint a reasonable looking Mona Lisa just with the simplest of tools. So the cheapest brushes, the cheapest paint and the limited palette. I will use only five colors. I will use white, blue, yellow, red and black. With all the limitation, let's go to the studio. And we are here. It's just, it's just in my room. So according to Wikipedia, Da Vinci painted Mona Lisa on a poplar board. First I had to find out what the heck is poplar? And it's a type of a tree. And I think back in the days you would just go cut the tree dry and then slice it up. But where should I get a poplar board? I can't just go and cut it down. So then I realized like, wait a minute, I live just next to the solution. So yeah, let's go to Obi. Well, I'm not 100% sure if uh, Leonardo da Vinci had plywood in 1500, but my well. So now we got our poplar board. The problem is that this is 120 to 30 centimeters and Mona Lisa is only 55 to 73. So let's cut it off. So, we downloaded the picture and now we have to add the grid to the painting. And, uh, you know, we just open a Photoshop and and uh, and you realize that you have no idea how to add the grid. So, you open a YouTube, find a tutorial how to add the grid and then after two hours of excruciating pain remembering how you use the Photoshop, ta-da, you have the grid. And now what we're doing, we have to put the background. And the background I, I choose orange because a lot of artists on YouTube all put orange. They have a different reasons for it, but it's always orange. I think it's looking good and I'm layering it in a very thinly, very nicely, so I have a smooth surface. It's also good because the wood uh, will suck up a little bit of water and when we put the first layer, we can work with the paint a little bit better. It doesn't dry so fast and we have to, we'll be blending a lot in this painting, which will be very hard because acrylics are not the best for blending. But that's the challenge, no? That's the challenge. We need to paint Mona Lisa on a plywood which is curved with the very limited palette. You always put a restriction because then you can say, of course it didn't work out. Every square of this picture is two by two centimeters in reality. So now let's go and draw it on the poplar board. But first, let's be authentic. What was the most favorite drink in the Renaissance? Consumption of alcohol during Renaissance was moderate to heavy. I like that. But drunkenness was a sin? Okay, mom. Wine, wine, okay, wine was it. Now, let's get into it. Woohoo! Why do we actually need the grid? I mean, it's hard to paint the face, and believe me, I painted my brother two years ago. Yeah, now you believe me that I'm not a professional. But on the other hand, this is the actual picture. And that's why you have the grid. It is hard to paint this, even this, but this is easy. You just do a very small part at a time. So now, let's sketch Mona Lisa. Now we have to overcome the biggest limitation we have and that is the color. Leonardo didn't use the little color when it was written blue and yellow and red. No, 
to use the pigments and we have to replicate this color and in order to get the tone runs I had to first make the darkest one so the dark brown color but also the lightest color which is this yellowish beige I don't think the painting had originally such a yellow tint but we are trying to replicate what we see and not what the reality should be I had to blend a little bit of blue and green for the background and I also made a little tool for me to check the colors, I cut out a little window so I can see if my tone is right or not and I checked all the colors and I think it's fine. So now let's get into painting. And if you are asking, what's happening right now? What is it doing? The answer is, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but I'll fix it. I promise. You can see I'm having a lot of troubles with the face. And I wanted to start with the face because if, I don't, if I'm not able to paint the face, then I don't have Mona Lisa. I trained first on hands and I tried to move on face and it was a disaster. It was dark, it was completely off shape and I couldn't get the blending. I did a main mistake and that was that I was using a flat brush and then a small brush until I figured out that there exist filbert brushes. And filbert brushes has one advantage and that is that they are rounded and it's uh, fantastic for blending. And in my paintings I do, I never blend, so I actually forgot that they exist. <laughs> do you hate the feeling when your brushes misbehave? You're annoyed when they always fall out of the closet where they are not even supposed to be? Does the brush always ruin the final touches to your masterpiece? Try Filbert Brush only for 0 .99. But they are still cheap, I bought these in, uh, in Lilo, I think for I think five years, all the brushes, so we are still on the budget. Gentlemen, and now the moment you've been all waiting for, let me present Mona Lisa on budget. That's it. Guys, thank you very much for watching and keep on painting.